Hey, Tech of Tomorrow fans, or as you shall now be known, Tater Tots. My name is Paul. I usually do videos over on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Paul's Hardware. But Elric hit me up because as you probably are aware, he's been having some medical issues lately involving, unfortunately, the uh, amputation of part of his foot. Guess that means I'll need to rethink my Christmas gift for him. But anyway, uh, today's video is gonna be about some technology since I know that's what you guys are into. We're gonna be going over the top five GPUs or graphics cards of 2014. Coming at number five, we have AMD's R9 270X. This is the reference design right here. This card, okay, technically came out late in 2013, but it's still one of AMD's top cards and that's why I wanted to include it. Actually, what AMD has done with this card is they've drastically reduced the price over time, which means this is a much better bang for your buck than it used to be. Uh, it comes in at less than $200, features 1,280 stream processors, you get two gigs of GDDR5 memory, which is gonna be great for those of you gaming at 1080. And if you want something that's probably a little bit better than the reference design of this card, I'd say go with MSI's uh, gaming version of the R9 270X. That one will get you overclocked out of the box at 1,120 megahertz. It's like a 7870 on crack. Coming in at number four, we have AMD's R9 280X. And uh, the version of that that I have right here is an excellent one. This is Sapphire's uh, toxic version with the triple X cooler on it. Basically what you're getting with the 280X, which yes, was also released in 2013, but it's still a great card, is all of the benefits of last year's AMD flagship for less than 300 bucks. This thing has been as little as 275, uh, right around the holidays at least. So keep your eye out for it. Still an excellent card, especially for those of you gaming at 1080p. Coming in at number three, we have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970. Now, I don't have a specific recommendation for which of these cards you might be interested in. Let's talk about what's good about the 970 in general. It's gonna run you about $330 to $380 for a graphics card based on this GPU, but the benefits are it's based on NVIDIA's new Maxwell architecture, which is extremely power efficient. And with the 970, you basically get about 85 to 90% of the performance of the 980 for much less dollars, so that's fantastic. I've been working with the EVGA GeForce GTX 970. I've also heard good things from Elric about Zotax GeForce GTX 970. This is the like Omega version here that's super overbuilt. Uh, also heard good things about the Asus Strix version of the GTX 970, so I'm sure any of these graphics cards would be an excellent choice for you guys, especially if you're considering going beyond 1080 gaming. Number two on this list, we're moving back to AMD. For this, I don't have a visual aid, so let's see if we can do some quick post-production effects. The AMD R9 295X2. When the 295X2 was $1,500, it was a cool top-end card that not very many people were able to afford. When they made it $1,000, people were like, wow, that's actually a pretty good deal. And it was beating uh, Nvidia's version of that card, which was the GTX Titan Z. When they made it like 650 or 700 bucks, like it was right around Black Friday, I was like, that is amazing, a fantastic deal. Sure, you gotta deal with a little bit of extra power requirements and you might need to upgrade your power supply, but the amount of simple graph graphics horsepower that you get with the R9 295X2, especially if you can get it for around 700 to 750 bucks like it is right now, fantastic deal and an amazing bang for the buck. And the number one GPU of 2014, Big surprise, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. This is EVGA's version that I have right here. Now, if you've been living under a rock this year, let me explain what makes the GTX 980 such an awesome GPU. First off, it's NVIDIA's new Maxwell architecture. Even though NVIDIA wasn't able to actually shrink down their process size, they were still able with this new architecture to make this GPU more powerful than last, last generation while consuming much less actual wattage from the wall. That means the cards are gonna run quieter, they're not gonna generate as much heat that will dissipate into the rest of your system and it also means these things for overclocking are absolutely amazing uh, that goes for the 970 as well which is based on essentially the same GPU it's also got four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory which is great if you're looking at higher resolution gaming like 1440 or 4k and also have you heard of G-Sync well it's a method of frame rate control between the graphics card and the monitor and it makes things buttery smooth if you haven't tried it yet you should try it as soon as you can and once you have tried it it's really difficult to go back in fact, I think 2015 is gonna be the year of G-Sync as, well as, as well as FreeSync, which is AMD's side. But if you want that technology right now, you've gotta go with NVIDIA. And I think the GTX 980 is the best graphics card for your money if you wanna do G-Sync. If you want a specific recommendation for a GTX 980, I've been working with EVGA's GeForce GTX 980, which I think does a fantastic job. 
Uh, we also have Zotac's version of the GTX 980 right here. Just as with the 970, the Strix uh, is also a great option if you're looking at Asus, although that's not one that I've tried personally. Uh, if you want one that I've tried personally that's a really high-end 980 gigabytes version of this card is insanely overbuilt. It feels like a block of copper and it's like you could take it and just, just slug someone the side of the head with it. Not that I've ever tried that. And that's all. Those are our top five graphics cards for 2014. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of our picks. Let us know which graphics cards you think were the best choice this year. Did we make the right call? I don't, I have no idea. I'm really, really not sure. <laughs> but don't forget guys, I'm filling in for Elric because he's dealing with some medical issues right now. So don't forget to blow up that like button for him. Show him your support because he was just telling me earlier how much it means to him and how much of a lift he gets when he sees your comments as well as your likes on this videos. Also, if you get a chance, don't forget to check out my channel. It's youtube.com slash Paul's Hardware. We'll see you all later.